So welcome to another very interesting lesson, which is work done by gravitation force. And you should not be surprised that gravitation force also does work because it is a kind of force. And if it acts on any mass, any body, and there is displacement, there would be work done. So let's go ahead and find what is the magnitude of work done by gravitation force. So to find this, let's, let's consider a body, uh, a ball lying on the ground. And let us say it is projected up with a velocity v naught. So in a way, it has a kinetic energy half m v naught squared if mass of the ball is m. So when it reaches the top of its journey, we know its velocity becomes zero. And this is happening on account of the force of gravity which is acting on it continuously in the downward direction which keeps reducing its velocity. So we can clearly see that the force of gravity is reducing the velocity of the ball is taking energy out of the ball and therefore it is doing negative work on the ball. But let's see how, how does this work out mathematically or in terms of equations. So we know that the force of gravity is continuously acting on the mass on the ball in the downward direction throughout the journey of the ball as it is moving up. And let's call this Fg. And let us say the displacement of the ball during its journey is, let us say, d. So this is point d or the displacement. So we can also see that the displacement vector is pointing in the upward direction. So going by the definition of work done, we say that work done on the ball is the dot product of force of gravity with the displacement. And this therefore equals mass into gravity is the force of gravity acting on the ball into d into cos of the angle between the force of gravity and the displacement. And let's say it is phi. And we can clearly see that the angle phi is 180 degrees, primarily because the force of gravity is acting in downward direction, while the displacement is ha happening in the upward direction. So we, we rewrite this as mg d into cos of 180 degrees. And we know that cos 180 is minus 1. So work done by gravity, and let me put g sign over here also, is equal to minus mg d. So we can, we can, we have mathematically proved that the work done by gravity is negative as the ball moves up. And I repeat, the force of gravity is reducing the velocity of the ball as it is moving up. It's reducing its, its kinetic energy and therefore negative work is happening on the ball or it's transferring energy out of the ball. Now let us consider a situation where the ball is actually coming down. It's on its downward journey. So this time around, we can see that while the force of gravity continues to act in downward direction, the displacement is also in the downward direction. So in a way, the force of gravity is actually helping the ball come down because it's in the direction of the displacement. So we can say that the force of gravity is doing positive work on the ball because it's aligned with the direction of the displacement. So we can say that the work done by gravity is equal to the dot product of force of gravity with the displacement, which again is d this time around. And therefore, this equals mass into gravity into d into cos of the angle between the force of gravity and the displacement vector, and which we see is zero degrees this time around, because the force of gravity and the displacement vector are in the same direction. So this therefore equals mg d. And this is a positive value and which makes sense also because the force of gravity is helping speed up the ball. You know, the velocity of the ball is changing from zero to a velocity v naught when it hits the ground. So in a way, the velocity of the ball has increased, its kinetic energy has increased. So the force of gravity is transferred positive energy into the ball and it has done positive work. So let's consider another situation where you are actually lifting an object, let's say a carom board striker with your hands in upward direction. So let's draw a diagram for that. 
So let us say you pick the cardboard striker from the ground and displace it in upward direction so that the displacement here, let's say, is D dash, let's say. So we can see that there was certain kinetic energy initial over here and there was certain kinetic energy final over here which by the way is zero in both cases but if we apply the work kinetic energy theorem over here what we get is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy should equal to the work done on the striker now let's examine what are the forces acting on the striker as it is moving up so we clearly know there's one force of gravity acting in downward direction which is fg and there's a force which is being applied by u to lift the striker up so let's call this fa or the applied force so there are two forces acting on the carom board striker and therefore we have to find the work done by both the forces so let's assume that the work done by the force of gravity is wg and the work done by the applied force is wa now we, we've already seen that the striker was stationary when it was on the ground and it has been raised to a certain point where again the velocity is zero and therefore the kinetic energy is zero so the left side becomes zero and the right side is wg plus w a so we can say that the work done by the applied force is equal to minus of the work done by gravity so let's find what is the work done by the gravity as the striker is taken from the ground up to a level where the displacement is d dash and what we'll find is the work done by gravity is equal to the force of gravity dot the displacement so if we open this up further what we get is fg is m g i'm sorry this would be d dash d dash into cos of the angle between the force of gravity and the displacement vector and we'll find that the angle between these two vectors is 180 degrees so what we get here is minus minus mg d dash and this equals m g d dash or w a rather equals m g d dash and this is a positive value which makes a lot of sense because applied force is actually lifting the striker in the upward direction or the applied force is in the direction of the displacement and therefore the work done by that force is positive which is coming out in this equation now let's reverse the situation where the strike is now being taken from a higher level down to the ground now once again if we apply this theorem on this situation where the strike is act actually being brought down to the ground what we'll find is that left side continues to be zero because the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy is zero so left side is zero and right side is again the sum of work done by the applied force plus work done by the force of gravity and therefore once again the work done by applied force is equal to minus w g and this time around if you find what is the work done by the gravity we find this is equal to minus force of gravity dot the displacement which is equal to minus mg d into cos of zero and we find that the angle between the vector fg or the force of gravity and the displacement this time is zero because they're both in the same direction so what we see is that w a is equal to minus mg d so you can clearly see that this time the applied force which is this is doing negative work on the striker because the force of gravity is helping the striker go down while the applied force is opposing the motion of the striker or it's in reverse direction to that of the displacement and therefore doing negative work so the force of gravity this time is doing positive work while the applied force is doing 
negative work. 